The Freak Alley Art Gallery in downtown Boise is getting a fresh look. If you're not looking at your TV screen, this is a good time to look at this. This is amazing. Several artists are spending this week putting their personal touches on the gallery. Photojournalist John Mark Crumb stopped by as they put a new face on the Freak Alley Gallery. Freak Alley is all the misfits, a unique one-of-a-kind experience that you can't find anywhere else in town. Something that's been iconic. Very special to Boise. Freak Alley Gallery is located in the heart of downtown Boise. And it is kind of like the heart of our community. So if you're new to this community and you've never been to Freak Alley Gallery, this is where you get a little taste of who, who, of who we are. What we're doing now, we're just refreshing some murals. We're painting over old ones, which is kind of a bummer. But like, it's just kind of embracing this constant refresh of artists. There's so much talent. We brought 22 artists down here, all locals, to show their story. Um, I'm going to do the birds and the cat next. I think people have been waiting for a long time for the next uh, Freak Alley refresh. My mother passed away, and I was in her basement, and I wanted to start making art for myself. And the first draft I did while she was ill was of these floating islands. So this will be dedicated to my mom. She did uh, push me um, to be who I am. And all the artists that are in this space are Boise based. There's just a lot of value in being able to reach out and say like, hey, my neighbor painted that. So this is an old photograph from probably around 1912 or so of 8th and Idaho Street where the old city hall used to be located. Since it's no longer standing, I thought it'd be cool for us to kind of see a peek into old Boise. I think I really love the juxtaposition and the way that we can see the difference between where Boise's been and where Boise's going. I love the cats. There's lots of people who dream about being an artist in Freak Alley, in Freak Alley Gallery. Yeah, because they've grown up with it. As a kid, I saw this place, I walked through this place, um, and I was so impressed by all of these artists coming together, and I knew that I wanted to be involved in that when I grew up, and now, like, it's really cool. Now I have something up here that will eventually get covered up, but that's just, like, the beauty of it. Just knowing that people care, not to be dramatic, but it is very much a dream come true. So I'm really happy to be involved in this. And you just do it all with, uh, like, oils? It's essentially just, like, local artists that are contributing time and supplies and everything like that. We're not getting paid, so we're just doing it because we want to contribute to this place. I think that's really cool, which is partially why I really wanted to be involved. Art helps you see the beautiful things in something mundane. Art changes and evolves, and it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a shared joy. And the artists will be down there for a few more days. They're expected to wrap up on Saturday, so be sure to stop by and check it out as it evolves. We'll wrap up the 208 with your comments after the break.